Metamats.com. Metamats.com, made by us, designed by you. Enter in the code Yuki Jesus on Metamats.com and get the code. <laughs> Metamats. <laughs> Can I even do it today? Metamats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of the best mats in Yu-Gi-Oh, then enter in the code Yugi Jesus on Metamats.com and you get 10% off. Also, if you guys want 10% off of custom deck boxes. Oh yeah, you guys haven't seen this yet, or maybe you have depending on the order of the videos, but I don't think you guys have seen this yet. Go to ldbduel.com and enter in the code Yugi Jesus. Um, they make awesome stuff, guys. These, <laughs> he sent me a long time ago, you guys have seen these uh, deck boxes in that video before. These clip onto your belt like you're in the anime. Like if you wanna be in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, these deck boxes are literally it. He said he uh, based these uh, deck boxes, um, in particular the, these uh, black deck boxes off of uh, Yusei and uh, 5Ds. Too bad there's no such thing as card games on motorcycles because that show's ridiculous. <laughs> in my opinion, they're the best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! because they never leave me hanging, unlike me who leaves you guys hanging all the time. <laughs> but I did leave you guys hanging the last episode because um, I got this New Balance shoe box. And I know there's going to be, um, you know, things that are covered up and that will be explained in a minute. You know, I have my little creep. Oh man, you know, covering, covering things up. My disgustable. <laughs> He's gonna be covering things up for me. But last episode, I got this entire New Balance shoe box full of goodies from our friend Thomas Suckley, who has mailed me before, and he has provided some of the best fan mail episodes. I'm not gonna lie, um, and I didn't say the best. You know, so I'm, not, I'm not picking favorites. You guys have all provided some awesome fan mail episodes. But Thomas, um, he kind of goes uh, above and beyond uh, because he. Um, he likes things opened in a certain order and stuff. <laughs> like he's literally got things marked. Like he has thorough instructions on what he wants done with all the contents of this box and I think that's just phenomenal. But let's read this letter. I'm gonna be covering up this part because it has this duelist ID number. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and read this whole thing. Dear Yugi No No, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes. He doesn't have perhaps, perhaps, on occasion, on occasion. Nay, nay, yay, yay. <laughs> it goes on, it goes on. The kids just call me Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. <laughs> it's Tom Suckley again. And it's been a while since I sent you fan mail and some packs. If you pull a DPE, a Starlight Rare, or Red Eyes Black Dragon Quarter Century Secret rare can you send them back to me absolutely absolutely and um uh, many times on fan mail i don't keep um d depending on the instructions i mean if you guys send me stuff this you know you say keep it then i keep it of course but there's been many fan mail episodes where i just show off cool stuff and i just send it back that's it, that's it. The fan mail rules are down in the description. Uh, you're not required to send me stuff to keep. Or you're not required, you just send me a letter and cards to sign or cards to, just anything. If you go, if you want to show off some cool rare Yu-Gi-Oh item and you want to keep it, you don't want to give it to me, then tell me that and I'll show it on camera, make an episode out of it, make a fan mail episode out of it and I'll mail it back to you. That is it, the only thing I require is that you pay for your own shipping um, and have your address, you know, you can send a shipping label in your package, you know, and I can uh, take care of it from there. Or you can send an entire other package in your package that's already labeled um, and everything with your address on it. Um, that's all, you know, in the fan mail rules. That's the only thing I ask, um, you know, because I just want everybody to get their stuff back. And I don't like paying for postage. I, I, I don't like doing that. So it's, it's just uh, two things at the same time. I don't like paying for postage. And if you guys write down your own address or if you guys provide your own tracking label, you know it's getting back to the right place. There's no address mistake or anything like that. There's no misunderstanding. You provided it. It's getting back to you. Done. <laughs> done. Done. But you guys who have followed me for a long time and have been watching fan mail for a long time you guys already know that but um let's keep trucking here the tin is from team samurai x1 and it is for you to open and keep also the maximum gold el dorado is from Yu-Gi-Oh. everything and it's for you to open and keep as well and i messaged him in between recordings and made and had to verify this because i was like what like why are they mailing me stuff through you what what is happening so i messaged thomas to clarify and he said that he had won them from whatnot which is an app where you can purchase Yu-Gi-Oh cards from other sellers this isn't me sponsoring by the way i'm just like clarifying that this is where these came from because the the letter was not very clear and I was just like what 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 is happening um, So I was clarifying for me and for you guys too that are you know reading this letter right now in addition Please keep the packs of your favorite set and the play mats He had remembered that Duelist Alliance is my favorite set if not it's, it's one of my favorite sets Okay, not my favorite set um, and that's what he meant by that. I hope you have a good day you too, but I hope you have a great year, weekend, everything, dude. You, you mail me some really cool stuff. Um, sincerely, Tom Suckley. P.S. I have a question for you. Do you play Master Duel? I do not. I really do not. Um, I, I'm not going to get into that. If you do, could you follow me? I would if I did. <laughs> I really would. Here's my Duelist ID number, and he says, please do not show on camera. So now you guys know why this bottom part is covered up, because he wanted to know if I played Master Duel, and if I did, if I would follow him based on his um, ID number. I do not play Master Duel. Um, I, I didn't really get into Duel Links either. Um, I've just always been 
card game Yuki G's. I don't know, just the, the same old, <laughs> same old stuff, man. I mean, of course, I use the uh, simulators. I use uh, EDO Pro to, you know, uh, deck build, uh, deck test, you know, and, and stuff like that. Um, I would use Dueling Book more often. I do have Dueling Book, but I, I and I would use it more often. But it takes like, I appreciate Dueling Book for what it is. I really do. But it takes like a year to finish one game, not a match, one game on that website. <laughs> you know, they go an entire 365 days to finish one game. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't really use it, but I, like I said, I appreciate it for what it is. With all that out of the way, though, Thomas, thank you so much once again. Let's let's just get into it, all right? This is epic, boys. This is really, really epic. I'm gonna try to, do I have everything? I don't have everything in the shot. Boom, there we go. So, this is so cool, guys. So some of the stuff is actually for you. Some of the stuff he just gave to me just to give to you guys, and we'll, uh, we'll get to that later, but, Open first and keep part one. So this is part one, this Xerion Universe 10. Oh my gosh, I, I have stories, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys the stories, every <laughs> my Yu-Gi-Oh stories while I open that, definitely. And then part two, Duelist Alliance. Dude, if I pull like an ulti construct, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it, dude. This is just so cool and it's actually nostalgic for me because uh, when Duelist Alliance came out, this is uh, right before Duelist Alliance came out is when I started to get back into the game. And uh, when Duelist Alliance dropped is actually, around that time is actually when I, no, before that, before that. But around the time the Duelist Alliance dropped is when I started recording, actually recording, because I had made Yu-Gi-Oh! -No -No a long time before Duelist Alliance came out, but I didn't do anything with the channel. That's why, like, if you look at my, like, channel creation date and, like, upload dates and stuff, it actually doesn't match up at all, not to mention, you know, videos that have gotten deleted and stuff. But, yeah, around, um, around this time, this was it, dude, and this, like, reinvigorated a lot of people, um, as far as Yu-Gi-Oh! goes. This, this really got a lot of people back into the game. Um, I know, uh, I, I remember uh, locals being popping, you know, like well, around the time that this set came out. Everybody liked Shadals, everybody liked Burning Abyss, everybody liked uh, Yang Zing, everybody liked this set, everybody liked Teller Knights. This set was just great, man, just absolutely great. So this is part three, this maximum gold, so I want to put these in order over here. So part one, two, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, it's off camera, but yeah. One, two, three, and then these are part four. So all of these, Dawn of Majesty, these are all, oh, oh, and there's more, oh, shoot! Burst of Destiny, so all of these, I thought that they were all Dawn of Majesty. I really, like, this is, I'm reacting to this at the same time as you are, guys. Like, I just messaged him to, like, confirm some things, and now, like, this is it. Like, <laughs> this is, this is all closed, you know, it's all sealed. So part four, Dawn of Majesty, part five, Burst of Destiny, really cool. And then part six, the 25th Anniversary Legendary Collection. And this is what he's talking about. He, he's like, if you, if you pull a 25th rare, I want that. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just thankful for, for it, all of this, all of this. He says, keep this, this Karibo deck box. I actually don't have one, so that's that's dope. The Karibo Dark Magician deck box. Is there something in that that I forgot about that it comes with? Must come with the dice or something I forgot about. That's cool. Thank you so much, dude. Looks like Mechanized Man. This is going to be another giveaway. So the two giveaway items, it looks like, are... Uh, Link Strike Structure Deck and the Mechanized Madness Structure Deck. Those are going to be the two giveaway items. And he says, keep these. Okay, so I'll put those I'll put those here. We'll do those last because he's got a specific order he wants us to do this in. And please sign. We'll do these last two. I'll sign your cards last. Actually, you know what? No, yeah, I'm going to sign them last because you, you, like, you have this labeled really well and I want to do it in the order that you want. So, um, and then these right here, he says keep. And the reason why he's telling me to keep these, uh, you guys that have followed fan mail, followed me for a long time, know the collection's not as up to date as it used to be, you know. But I do still collect structure deck and starter deck mats. Um, all of them. Uh, from going all the way back to, I mean, here's like the light sworn one, for example, just like pulling one randomly out. So, um, he was polite enough, nice enough to send me. Let's see if I have any of these. Oh, this is a two-person one? They make two-player ones? Oh, it's a speed duel one. And see, I don't have, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this. I don't have any of the speed duel ones. Just straight up, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't have any, any, any of the speed duel ones. What are these? These more speed duels? What are these? Dude, these are more speed duels. So, is he trying to get me to collect the speed duel ones too? What is happening? I guess I can. Yeah, I guess I'll, yeah, dude, thank you so much. I forgot the speed duels was even a thing, to be honest. Oh, I don't have this one. Dude, thank you so much. Yes. I did not buy the Trap Trick Structure decks. Eugene did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I seriously didn't. Yeah, I'll put all these in later. It looks like I'm going to need a bigger box anyways. 
Yeah, this doesn't really, I mean, it'll hold some more, but yeah, this box is, what, what, what set is this again? Legendary Dragon Dex box. Yeah, it's it's filled to the brim with these. I'm gonna have to like switch to a, a bigger box. So I'll do that uh, off camera. All right, so we have part one. And this is sealed, boys, and it's got the sticker on here and everything. Oh my gosh, Xerion Universe. Matter of fact, let me go get my binder. So, long before we had learned and agreed that Xerion Universe was not, in fact, a GOAT format, I actually started, you know, anytime I picked up or found an Xerion, here's a German one that somebody actually mailed me, this is really cool. But anytime I had uh, came across an Xerion, I bought one because I considered it to be one of the best cards in GOAT format. Um, that's part of the reason why it's. It was such a uh, controversy is because a lot of people didn't want it to be GOAT format going all the way back to the beginning and uh, initially I thought that those people were just lying about it not actually being in the format just because they didn't want it to be so I made videos making fun of GOAT players um, to, I told them to get laid <laughs> I was very very blunt because at that time I really thought that people just didn't want it to be in the format and then later it was determined that it actually wasn't historically and yada 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 um now if that was rigged <laughs> that's a different story because <laughs> uh, there are some um there are cabals and uh, market manipulation and, and things that go on in, uh, in a Yu-Gi-Oh that, that I don't really talk about very often, but they, they are real. But anyways, there are there are shady things that happen in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I don't think this is one of them though, at least I don't, I don't yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think that that time frame just genuinely gets blended together. And um, honestly, without Xerion Universe, the, the, the format feels like more of a circle anyways. And I've talked to uh, my own friends about that, and I actually, I actually stole Cooper's <laughs> line right there. He's like, the format feels like more of a circle without it. And and I, and I do agree. I'm not saying that Xerion Universe solves the format. I'm not asserting that at all. Um, I will say that Beast, uh, Beast Down, beat, just Beat Down decks in general get a lot better, and um, the Chaos gets better too because it's dark. But um, all I'm saying is that it simply adds a lot to the format and probably too much. But um, moving on. That's my Xerion story. I was I was pro Xerion for a long time. I, I have attended many um, Xerion legal goat tournaments. You know, especially before we had all you know agreed. And this was way before GoatFormat.com and stuff. Way before I even knew those guys existed. You know, and I've actually had them on the channel before talking about goat, goat format. But um, anyways, yeah. Um, long story short. I used to think that this card was legal. I used to make fun of people who thought this card wasn't legal because I just thought that they were being big babies because Yu-Gi-Oh players are big babies. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a big misunderstanding for a long time and I added to a lot of misinformation while not knowing that I was. But once again, I, this card could be, this card really could still be in the format, maybe historically, but by all accounts and it's, it's not. So we all agree on it now. And even if it was in the format, um, like I said, um, the format is more of a circle without it. So, and this is, dude, I'm getting, I actually just got goosebumps a little bit. I thought, even me who has seen like everything in this game and has been around for so long, <laughs> you know, has even left and come back, you know what I mean? Like risen from the dead, <laughs> even me. I, I, I just got chills opening this because this is the first unopened Xerion 10. This is the first Xerion 10 I've opened in my life. This is the very first one. Dude, I have to smell the old air. <laughs> wow, it just smells like plastic. <laughs> but boys, there it is. I was like, how does this come apart? Another Xerion universe for the collection. That is so cool. Matter of fact, let's leave this and put it in that binder right now. And I just want to say, you are an absolute mad lad, Tom, for sending me one of these unopened again. That's crazy. And that's what's crazy, also crazy, is that you completed my like nine block of Xerion universes right there. Uh, and I, I don't even know if that's all the Xerions that I have. <laughs> like, like I said, um, I, every, anytime I used to uh, come across that card, I'd buy it. Like, this is good. This is good for goats and people don't want it. Oh. And everybody thought it was goats for a long time. Everybody played that card, you know, and I played three of it in Beast Down and like tore shit up, dude. I had like this nasty Beast Down deck with three Berserk Gorilla. At least it was nasty for that time, you know, goats have evolved and stuff, but it's like, you know, three Xerion, three Berserk Gorilla, you know, uh, skill drain in it, I don't know. Just uh, disgusting deck. Factory mistake, more packs at the bottom? No, no? Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> Here, it's in there, plastic there. All right, Flaming Eternity. 
Rise of Destiny, Soul of the Duelist, Dark Revelation Volume 1, and Dark Beginning 1. Gosh, and these are these are the originals, guys. These are this is so cool. I mean, these aren't first edition packs because they're the reprints from this tin, but these are from 2005. That was an unopened tin. Let's see what we get, dude. I have the sleeves at the ready. Thomas, you are a madman. You are a madman. Be very careful with these. These are very old. I mean, I know they're not first dead once again, but they're very old. Hyena, the light. Hex Sealed Fusion, Centrifugal Field, Insect Knight, 1900 attack. He's like the biggest insect in GOAT format. Dude, a foil that is a super rare Blast Magician. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Why that's extra cool, you guys would be like, oh, he's getting excited for a super, those are guaranteed. No, these old packs, super rares are not guaranteed if you know your Yu-Gi-Oh history. You get a rare or a foil. <laughs> That's it. That's a super rare Blast Magician. DD Dynamite, great card. Great card going into time. Hand of Nephthys. Golem Century, great card, man. Bounces to the hand. Really, really, really good in a flip flop, you know, Pac Man decks. And Blade Rabbit, really good. And Clown Control, if, you, if you're into that. I know there's a guy in my Discord server that just loves, loves, loves clown control. Like I think he even still tries to play it to this day. I have blast magicians, man, but none of them are uh, none of them are hollow. Raging flame sprite. These are bent a little bit, man. Just slightly. Just notice that. Raging flame sprite. Zing Zen Hu. Rock from the Valley of Haze. These are all really good goat cards. Lighten the load. Wow. Ultimate Insect Level 3. That's what I was talking about, guys. The foils are not guaranteed, but that is still very cool. A rare Ultimate Insect. And these come in ulti, by the way. I have an ulti, ulti one somewhere around here. Harpy Lady 1. Astral Barrier. Heavy Mech Support Platform. And Bokoichi. Hey, if you want to play a Bokoichi, Dokoichi deck, you can actually play um, Machine Dupe in GOAT format. That is in GOAT format. And you can machine dupe these and uh, flip the Koichi and draw a bunch of cards. That is a thing. All right. Put that there. That's our stack of commons. Soul of the Duelist. Nobleman Eater Bug. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. Howling Insect. Level up. Mind on air for our rare... Abyssal Designator, the Trojan Horse Ritual Weapon, Malice Doll of Demise, a very cool card I'm familiar with uh, Ectoplasma. And there actually is a deck in GOAT format that plays a Malice Doll of Demise, Ectoplasma, and like spirit monsters and stuff because Ectoplasma destroys uh, monsters on both sides of the field. But you don't care because, you know, your uh, spirits return to the hand, anyways. Very cool card, very, very cool. Malice Doll has a very specific effect to it that works. Specifically with Ectoplasma, especially in GOAT format, that was like literally what it was meant for. Okay, Dark Revelation. A tip card, whoa, it's a tip card. If you play with cards that inflict effect damage, you can use them more effectively by using Dark Room of Nightmare. Yes, you can. The Dark Room of Nightmare is still played in burn decks to this day. Um, a year, years ago, it was, it was meta even in uh, Trickstar, you know? With Mass Driver, you can inflict 700 total damage each time you tribute one monster. Also, if you have Coffin Cellar on your side of the field, you can inflict 600 damage total damage each time. Continued on the back. Destro Karch means cool card. Your opponent... This monster is sent to the graveyard. Can you figure out more combos with Dark Room Nightmare? You know, like playing it in Trick Stars? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, actually, I, ha I haven't made a video on it yet, but I did make a new um, burn, like, OTK deck with uh, Possessed Dark Soul, of all cards. And it's a, it's a GOAT format deck, and that's why Possessed Dark Soul's in it. But, um, yeah, and Dark Room of Nightmare's in it. Um, it's a really good card, man. This tip card, these tip cards are rare, man. I'm going to keep that. That is so, so cool. Desrook Archfiend. Good card, man. This this card is actually like a hand trap uh, of sorts because you send this to the graveyard when you're um, oh, your main Archfiend guy, the Shadow Knight Archfiend, whatever. What is it? Uh, when your Terror King Archfiend is uh, sent to the graveyard, like by like any way, you just like send send this to the grave from your hand, and it revives it. Very very cool. And it's a light at that, and you know, and um, Terror King is a dark, so you can actually play Chaos monsters with this. Um, yeah, Archfiend is a pretty interesting deck in Goats. 
But um, Keldo, this one actually removes. Yeah, speaking of uh, speaking of uh, chaos, this is actually an anti-chaos card. Not the best anti-chaos card, but it's cool. Suzuki Samurai number two. Ultimate Obedient Fiend, very cool card. Magical Marionette. Ojama Green, oh, the sexiest card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't stand to look at it! Oh, he's so sexy! <laughs> oh, what do we got? Rope of Life. Wah, wah. Oh, well, the Ojama Green makes up for the rare, you know? <laughs> Dice Reroll, Curse of Aging, Twin Swords of Flashing Light, Trice, Metamorphosis! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, these are actually hard to pull. These are rare commons. Like, that's why I just freaked out over a common. This is actually a, an expensive common. Oh, Contract with Exodia. Gosh, why do I feel like this is an expensive common too? Maybe maybe it's not, maybe I'm tripping. But this one, for sure, Metamorphosis, um, it's more than it should be for a common because it hasn't had very many prints. It's only had like one or two or something. It has not had very many at all. So yeah, and uh, the max rarity for Metamorphosis is actually, uh, what is it, uh, Champion Pack, Tournament Pack? I can't remember, but yeah, that's max rarity for it. Very hard to get. Oh man, another tip card! Some monsters say that they can only be special summoned by a certain method or card effect. Examples of this are Larvae Moth and Harpy Lady Sisters. Usually you cannot normal summon or set these monsters. These cards cannot be revived with Monster Reborn and similar cards unless they were properly... Special summon first using the method written on the card and were then sent to the graveyard. For example, if you special summon Harpy Lady Sisters with the effect of Elegant Egotist, and the Harpy Lady Sisters is then destroyed by Dark Hole and sent to the graveyard, you can use Monster Reborn to special summon Harpy Lady Sisters again. If a special summoned only monster like Harpy Lady Sisters is discarded and sent to the graveyard from your hand or deck without being properly special summoned, you cannot use Monster Reborn on it. Which is so funny because Monster Reborn uh, is banned. It's a banned card. It was banned like it was at one in 2002, and by you know 2005 goat format, it was banned. You couldn't use it. But tip card number two of 50. That's cool, man. I wonder if anybody collects those. I'm sure somebody does. The Earl of Demise. Mammoth Graveyard, Dancing Fairy, Amoeba, Bubonic Vermin, Worm Drake from the show, The Forceful Sentry, wah, wah. but that's a really good card. Band in goat format, look at your opponent's hand, that's why. <laughs> Select one card among them and return it to his or her deck, the deck is then shuffled. Yeah, this, this card's busted in goats, if it, if it were to be legal, it'd be everyone would play that card. It's very similar to like duo, but it's like more busted than duo because you see their hand and you don't pay a thousand, it's, it's so stupid. Mirror Wall, Fake Trap, good card. Type Zero Magic Crusher, Mystic Plasma Zone, Red medicine. Red medicine is what I need. Whoa, shake it up just like red medicine. Okay, next up, part two. We have five packs of Duelist Alliance. Debatably the best set in Yu-Gi-Oh history. Seriously, debatably, debatably the best set in Yu-Gi-Oh history. I mean, the best set in Yu-Gi-Oh history is probably like Legend of Blue Eyes, right? Like the first one, maybe, I don't know. But Duelist Alliance, like I said earlier, reinvigorated a lot of people. We got him right back into the game. Let's go. Chain Dispel. Recover. This card has, these, man, that's another thing about Dole's Lines. There's so many interesting cards in it that have so much potential. Some of them see play sometimes. It's really cool. Mozarta, the Melodious, Mastra, and then once again, this was before Guaranteed Foils. So we're not gonna get Guaranteed Super Rare. So uh, just like the last packs we opened, Dole's Lines is gonna be really epic if we get a foil, guys. Study up on Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu history. You kids are spoiled these days. We did not always get a foil out of a pack like you do now. Jin, Demolisher of Rituals. Sonata, the Melodious Diva. Yang Zing, Unleashed. Him of Light. Next pack. I will say these packs are way easier to open than the old ones. They figured that out. <laughs> UA Stadium. White Prince. Artifact Chakram. God, these cards are so cool and interesting. Perform a pal Skeeter Skimmer. UA Perfect Ace. Ooh. And then a Yang Zing Creation. Ultra Rare. Gosh, that is sick here. Rares and foils. That'll work. Gosh, that's so cool. Another recover. Cool tuner card. Battery Man 9 volts. Teller Knight. Ukulele. We always called this ukulele because there's no pronouncing that. <laughs> 
But man, yeah, this this recover card, I have tons and tons of copies of this card, and this is a card that's a tuner that has always had tons of potential. You can get it with E-Telly and stuff. All right, next up, Super Heavy Samurai Blue Baller. I always call him Blue Baller. Another ukulele, Burner Visor, Yangzing Prana, Dogu, and a UA Stadium. Wah, wah. White Prince again, cool card. Chakram, cool card. Chakram's really interesting because it like bounces a set card in the hand or something. But Perform Power Skeeter Skimmer again. And the White Prince, of course, is good in uh, Skull Servants. Classic deck. Skull Servants is actually a deck in GOAT format as well. Fun fact. People forget that it is, but um, King of the Skull Servants is a GOAT card. It was around. Ukulele. We got three ukuleles now. <laughs> Draco Ascension. Teller Nova Wave. Artifact Lancia, still a good card to this day. To this day. Big Ben Kai, Pilgrim Reaper, wah, wah, wah. Skeeter Skimmer, what is with the Skeeters? We got too many Skeeters, I already live in the South, do we already have too many Skeeters? Curse of the Shadow Prison, Battle Guard, Howling. All right, last pack of Duelist Alliance. And Tom, thank you so much again. Hopefully we get that uh, Ulti Construct though, right? Let's try to get Ulti Construct. Ulti Constructor, I would settle for a window, but like, Ulti Construct. And right after I gave these packs credit for being better to open, <laughs> like it didn't open. Oh, let's see what we got. Gaia, the Midnight Sun. Another Skeeter, dude. <laughs> Jin Demolisher Ritual is another one. Another Pilgrim Reaper. Another Mozarta. Ah. Oh. is a good card, though. Debatably the best shit all to this day, right? Because it sends whatever other doll you want, you know? Like, it's, it is any doll. Uh, Tether Knight Alpha. Hippo Carnival, good card. And Chain Dispel, card that's okay. I never saw too much play or anything. But. Dude, that was cool. That was a blast from the past, too, just because I haven't opened Duelist Alliance in, I don't know, man, many, many, many years here. Let's put those here. Part three is Maximum Gold El Dorado. El Dorado. This part of the episode is going to be shiny. Like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck. Or however those words go. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen that movie. I've seen that movie, too. It's okay. It's an all right movie. But yeah, that's it. I'm kind of hoping for a manufacturing mistake where there's going to be like another pack somewhere that there's not going to be. <laughs> I'm playing with the box anyways. It gets gift placed with the box. <laughs> All right, four packs of maximum gold El Dorado. I actually don't remember which cards come in the set. I know uh, gold is like, you know, reprint sets, except for sometimes they'll print, you know, some stuff for the first time, but usually reprints. Um, number three, Nuveron. Whoa, whoa, this is a different gold. Only the, only the text is gold? I actually don't remember this set. Wow, I didn't open this set. Yeah, I must have skipped this one. I didn't open this one because I don't remember like the gold text golds. That's crazy. But Scrap Wyvern, that's a good card. Pretty Plant, Verte Anaconda, that's a good pull. <laughs> that's a really good gold. Actually, you know what? Now that I see the gold border, I do remember this set. That's right, this one's the one with the gold border. I do I do remember this one now. Pretty Plant, Verte Anaconda. Man, it's banned now, but very, very cool. And speaking of cool, I actually need this card, so that was legit. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> I actually needed another copy of Trap Trick. That's cool. Needed that really bad. Fire Formation Tinky. That's cool. That's always a good card. Uh, Alter Geist Marionetter. Uh, red, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. I'm going to break you. Like I did Mr. Wayne. <laughs> I could do a pretty decent Bane. Anyways. Thank you so much, seriously, I needed a trap trick, dude. And too bad Verte's banned, dude. Verte is a really good card in Cyber Dragons and really any deck, right? Um, that's why it's banned. <laughs> that's why it's banned now. It was too good. It was too good in any deck. Lost World, that's a good card. A golden, I mean, it's good for dinosaurs. I've seen Lost World, like, dinosaur decks actually do well. Like, structure deck dinosaur decks. Uh, you can look those up on YouTube, I'm not lying. Golden Land Forever. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Sideframe Lord Lambda. I needed one of those, too. That's a good card. That's a good card, man. Urgent Schedule, another good card in Earth Machines. That's a great card. Sky Striker Ace Rose. The Weather Painter Rain. Man, too bad nobody plays Weather Painters. Man. You know, if I didn't pull that card just then, I, I wouldn't think that the deck existed. Crazy. <laughs> some, some people would be like, why is he joking about that? And then my fans are like, dude. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> Prank Kids. Ooh, this, that's a little bit right there. You guys see that? Anyways. Prank Kids, Dodo Doodle Doo. <laughs> Number four, Numeron Gates, Katsvari. Numeron Calling. Nightmare Unicorn, great card. Danger Bigfoot, cool card. 
uh, Hakoli of the Golden Land, whatever that means, of the Golden Land, and another Marionetter. Another Marionetter. Last pack of the gold. All right. Omega, man, that's such a cool card. Is Omega, oh, Omega's banned now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I think he's banned. Or is he a one? No, he's a one. Is he a one or he's a man? I think he's a one. Man, I can't remember. I haven't played Omega in a minute. <laughs> oh, man, he's scuffed a little bit. Oh, well. The painter, the weather painter, Thunder. Oh, I, two, two anacondas? I'm pretty sure this is one of the chase cards. I think this is what everybody wanted. Because, like, for, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Meliseek, Ultra Guys, Meliseek, a rescue cat. That's, that's good. That's cool. That's cool. Iria, the Water Charmer, Gentle, and Dragon Maid, Hospitality. It's weird seeing rares that are golds. It's still kind of weird. Not, even now that I'm like, I remember this and I'm used to it, it's still kind of weird. But dude, that's a pretty decent dude. Like, if I would have pulled this like right when the set came out, those two anacondas, I think would have been like, <laughs> like, I think it would have got really, really lucky. It reminds me of that one time that I opened, um, it was Number Hunters, and I had like a factory air box. It's on this channel. The video is still on this channel. I had like a factory air box, error, error box, where I pulled like two or three Master of Blades from one box. And that was like the chase card from that set that was like two per case or something. It was something stupid, dude. It was like really, really, really short printed. And I got like a factory air where it was like three in one box, dude. That was in it. But it was like, I pulled that like years after Number Hunters was even relevant though. Cause you know, Number Hunters was relevant when Dragon Rulers were still around and stuff. So like pulled it way later, but like still that was, it was just incredible to get such a, a, a rare box. All right. So part four is Dawn of Majesty. Uh, where are my scissors? There they are. Okay. And while I'm at it with the scissors, I'm going to go ahead and open these ones up too. But I will open them in the correct order. But just while I have the scissors out, let's just take care of this. Dawn of Majesty. First edition at that. I don't remember which cards. I'm gonna. It's going to be surprised. I actually don't remember which cards are the chase cards for this one. I do remember that the set was washed out though, now that I see this. This was one of the ones where, yeah. So um, they haven't been as bad about it lately, but for a, a, a period there, um, like every Yu-Gi-Oh set had really washed out cards. And this is one of them, like the, the ink on this. I mean, just compare it to, uh, oh my gosh, this is so much deeper. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but like I know that they're not, I'm not comparing it to another pendulum, but these, these are so much more washed out than the old cards. But anyways, Pazuzul. Despian Tragedy. Ah, oh, Despians. Okay. Magic Key Unlocking. Chronomaly Akambaro Figures. Chronomaly Magala, Magala Globe. So there's our foil. Beast King Unleashed. Majestic Absorption. Bee Trooper Fly and Sting. And a Doom Bearer Psycho Pompos. He is very pompous. And he's psycho about it. <laughs> okay. Slower Swallow. Oh, I'm, okay. I remember this set now because of this stupid fucking card name. <laughs> Dude, sl Swallow Slower for me, man. <laughs> what is the Slower Swallow? Like, some, some Yu-Gi-Oh card names. I'm like, what what, were you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, Tailwind of Gusto. Like, what does this even mean? Nobody knows what it means. It's provocative. Interluder. Gunkin Sioux Ship. Seaside Supper Spot. Super Spot, whatever. Uh, Dino Wrestler. Is it Supper Spot? It is Supper Spot. That's funny. Uh, Dino Wrestler. Iguana Draca. Iguana Draco. And then this interesting card, Albane, the Essence of Vanity. I still think that card's kind of cool. Uh, Capriconia, Capriconia, Mystical Beast of the Forest. Mag magic, uh, majestic Absorption again. And a Sioux Ship Akura Class Dreadnought. I remember this now. Yeah, I've opened this set before. So this is actually another instance where um, I opened the cards in the set and didn't keep any of them. Um, so I went to a tournament down in Texas and the guy that put on the tournament, his name is James, he puts on goat tournaments down there. Um, he sent me Dawn of Majesty, like a, a whole booster box of it uh, to open on camera and like just for the channel and then I mailed all of it back to him. Just like, thanks for the content, here's your stuff. Like, thank you for letting me open it. This is what I was saying. <laughs> it's all in the fan mail rules. Like, like, I actually, that's happened several times before um, where people were just like, hey, bless my pools. Open these and just send me my pools. And I'm like, okay. It's a win, 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 win all the way around because I get content, you get content, and you get your packs blessed by Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. Anyways, <laughs> Despia, Theater of the Branded, Glacier, Aqua Medor, DDD, Different Dimension Derby, D -d 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 <laughs> Jar of Generosity, Pendulum Treasure. That's a cool looking card. Add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to you to your extra deck face up. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I forgot about that card. Cosmic Slicer Zerol. Too bad Pendulum Summoning's not as easy as it used to be, right? 
But then again, you can set up like anything. <laughs> Shinobi Insect uh, Hacker, hacker that, yeah, whatever that says. Try mid lo loading and margin trading. Last two packs. Arrow picks three, picks three, whatever. Kona, Hagsha, gosh, spirit monsters. The Springins, Interluder. So it's slower swallow again. Synchro, oh, we got a secret rare, boys. Oh, I was not expecting to pull well from this at all. Cause last time, I don't think I did. Uh, from a whole booster box, I don't think I pulled well at all. Like maybe I did okay, I can't remember. No, no, I did all right. Yeah, I did okay. Um, but anyway, Synchro, Overtake. Secret rare, very cool, very, very cool. Margin trading again, Sushi Daily Special, Sam Bell, the Star Bonder, branded Bond. All right, last pack of Dawn of Majesty. Converging Wills Dragon, Puzzle, zul, 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 zul. Despian Tragedy, Magic Key unlocking, what's it unlocking though? Link, Apple, and uh, wah, wah. <laughs> Clav Clav the, the Magic Key Sky Blaster. Alvain, the Essence of Vanity, Capricornia again, and Majestic Absorption again. All right, that was pretty cool though. That was not too bad. That was not too bad. I'll sleeve these up in a minute. And I'll sleeve these when I sleeve the gold cards. Let's put those over there. Burst of Destiny. Now this one, I have not opened. For a fact, I have not opened any Burst of Destiny. Like just like the gold, I hadn't opened gold. I was aware of the gold. Now this one, I can't remember what came in it, and I haven't opened any. So let's see if my memory gets jogged or if I'm just gonna be surprised the whole time. Um, Apex Predation. I think I'm gonna be surprised the whole time. <laughs> Penguin Cleric. Yeah, Outstanding Dog Mary. Okay, now 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 I remember the set. Okay, but I haven't opened this, so I am gonna be surprised the whole time. Giant Starfall. Magic -y Fiend. Transfer. Transfer mine. Magic Eat Bean, Transferal Mine, and Royal Penguin's Garden. That's a good card. This is a really good card in Fluffles. Search uh, Fluffle Penguin. That's a really good card. Reptilian Recoil, Reptilian Nayami, Bee Trooper Landing. So just our guaranteed super. Nothing too special yet. Man, pulling that secret a little bit ago. That was kind of cool. I was not expecting to do well. That set doesn't like me. Uh, Sword Soul, maybe this one's different. Maybe Burst of Destiny likes me a little more. Uh, Sword Soul Assessment. Penguin Squire, so we can get something to search with our Penguin card. Gunkin Sioux Ship, Sharara Class Carrier. Magical Cylinders. Sunbind Sewing. Wah, wah. <laughs> Danger Disturbance Disorder. Night Sword Serpent, which is actually a pretty cool card. When this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves a few. That's a cool card. I forget about this one. This guy's awesome. Brave Drive, Flounderies, and Strive. I, I really like just good generic cards like that. I've, I've never been like a big, I mean, I like archetypes just fine, but I've never been one towards like, oh, right, the, we, here's all 37 cards of the archetype set in stone. You get to pick three cards for the deck. I've never been like that big of a fan of that, like the decks being built for you. Sword Soul Assessment, Sinet Cascade, Ice Jade Tanola. Gemini's Lord Gold Gold Knight, Flounderies and the Scary Sea. Eugene will be happy. <laughs> Flounderies and Stry. Yeah, Eugene's gonna be stoked. B Trooper Assault Roller, Gunkin Sioux Ship Shirao, Transonic Bird. He's so Sonic, he transcends with Sonic. You've heard of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now get ready for Sonic the Burb. <laughs> Break the Destiny, Heritage of the Light. Flip Frozen, Sonic Trekker, Sword Soul Emergence Ultra Rare. Very, very cool. Nice pool there. Uh, another Flutteries and Stry. Eugene will be happy. Starry Knight, Orbitail, Penguin Ninja, Fingly the Soldier Palm. Whatever that means. <laughs> Soldier, I, I can't even make fun of that one. Just it's already it's already comical on its own. A lot of card names are like that. I am so bad at opening these packs, guys. <laughs> right, like I still, dude, it's open and I still can't get it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Giant Starfall. Gemini's another one of these gold knights. Rebuild deer. He's a, he's rebuilding, but he's a deer. <laughs> Salute Tiger. <laughs> Reptilian Kotal. Hey, a super rare Dreadnought. That's cool. That's cool. Danger, Disturbance, Disorder. Knights. That's awesome. I got two of these. That's cool. Brave Drive and another Stry. 
Wow, that was, I liked that. Dude, that's a nice sword serpent. And he's a water too, cause like, in, in like a totally awesome, like two level four, like yeah, no, no, cause Bahamut Shark's two level four waters and then you get, yeah. So Bahamut Shark, two level four waters and you get totally awesome. Okay, so now we have part six, which is the 25th anniversary. Just came out. Oh, man. I never get tired of this. I, re I really, really, really don't. Cause when I was a kid, these were it, dude. Obelisk the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra. And one of my favorite cards you guys have sent me, I think I actually have it over here. You guys have sent me all kinds of cool things, but one thing that somebody sent me was this DOD Winged Dragon of Ra that I still have just exactly how he sent it because I, I keep it with my stuff and I absolutely love it. When I was a kid, man, these were it. You were king of the playground. Like, if you had these and if you had a Charizard, <laughs> you know what I mean? The bitches came running. <laughs> they flocked. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon. Actually, no, none of the girls cared. It's just the boys. <laughs> Dark magician. Red eyes, black dragon. Oh my gosh. That just gave me chills because I just showed you guys one of my favorite cards that a fan sent me was Winged Dragon of Ra. When I was a kid, the Winged Dragon of Raw was my favorite god card. Obelisk is my favorite now, I think. But when I was a kid, Winged Dragon of Raw, when you were watching the show, dude. Watch us pull something busted from one of these, you know? <laughs> Monster Egg. Red Medicine is what I need. <laughs> I got to pull that twice in this video. Petite Angel. M Warrior, number one. Aqua Medor. Great card in 2002 format, man. 2000 defense like this card is great guys do not underestimate es aqua medora and i believe this is max rarity for aqua medora the rare one i mean this isn't first dead but i think rare is max rarity for aqua medora if you're playing 2002 format spike cedra the furious sea king dragon treasure hino tama tongyo that, that card's so weird actually i don't know if i've seen that one i mean if i have it's just been passing like you know looking through cards that's funny rock ogre grotto number one soul release man great card beautiful card too share the pain great moth <laughs> he got the great moth dude oh I don't know what's more broken, pulling Great Moth. <laughs> Just kidding, dude, dude. A foil ultra rare barrel dragon. Gosh, that's cool. Gosh, that's cool. I know this isn't, you know, the original, but like this is so cool though. Nonetheless, guys. I know this isn't first dead. I know this isn't the original, but gosh, that's still so awesome. Lady of Faith, Skull Knight. Gosh, that's such a cool card too. Electric Lizard. Alright. Pharaoh's Servants. Gosh, I love these first few sets. They're so good. Gradius. There's a deck and goat based around Gradius, actually. Driving Snow. Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Dark Bat. Appropriate. Good card. Every time uh, your opponent draws, you draw too. Major Riot. Flame Champion. This card's still so cool. Like he's, like he's just this kid fighting a dragon or something, you know? Like, gosh. Uh, man, I forget about that card until I see it and then I'm like man that card's so cool gamble uh, gamble and then dark fire soldier number one dark crisis See if we can pull blindly loyal goblin right <laughs> morale boost biopon archfiend guardian chaist battle footballer Dead Sparrow Imp. This is actually a really, really, really good card in Goats. People under, like, people will look over this card because it just says flip target one card in your graveyard, shuffle that target in the deck, and it's got 1800 defense, 1600 attack. Those are pretty decent stats. It's dark and stuff. But you guys are like, flip, what, what, what's so good about that effect? It just shuffles a card, you know, a card in your graveyard into the deck. If you're playing Exodia, you're trying to play Exodia and Goats, you play three of this because if you get duoed, this is what gets your Exodia back into your deck so you can draw it. This card's really, really, really good. I don't know if people know that. And I also don't know if people know that Dark Master Zork is awesome. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Man, another foil. Once again, guys, these aren't guaranteed foils. These are old packs. Unless, unless this is like new where they just redid it and guaranteeing the foils. Did they do that? Maybe they guaranteed the foils? No, because the LOB one, I only pulled Aqua Medora, right? So, gosh, that's cool. Dark Master Zork, that's awesome. Mane the Thorn, Contract with Exodia again. So that's Suitcase Samurai number two. Gosh, wait, why am I putting these in the rare? I'm getting discombobulated, man. Why am I putting those in the rare pile? Wow, this is so cool. Spell Ruler, 
the set formerly known as Magic Ruler. <laughs> All right, Dark Zebra, we ran Labyrinth Wall, the Reliable Garden Guardian. Mother Grizzly, good floater, you know, Mystic Tomato, uh, all those other ones and goats. Uh, Molten Destruction, dang. Uh, I knew, I like, felt the momentum drop before I did it too. Chorus of Sanctuary, Kotodama, Weather Report. If you kids haven't learned to sense energy yet, it is real, it's not just in Dragon Ball. And the last pack, Invasion of Chaos. I think this is the last pack we're opening. Yeah, this is the last pack we're opening because these others are for giveaway. And yeah, we're gonna be open. I'm gonna be showing some more stuff, but um, I guess I'll open that uh, Karibo card box. Yeah, deck box. But uh, yeah, it looks like this is the last pack. Yep, this is the last pack to open. This is the last unopened pack. Because once again, these two are for giveaway. So yeah, I don't see any, anything else. I think this is it. I didn't even see this either. Dude, Stealth Burn! Oh my gosh, this card's really good too, and Burn. Boganian, not so good of a card. Earth Chant, Ritual summons any Earth Ritual monster. Zero Gravity. Mataza the Zapper. So no foil, but Mataza's a cool card because it's got a blindly loyal effect to where um, it doesn't, it can't, the control of it can't switch, so it can't be sucked up by Thousand Eyes Restrict, or you know, it can't be snatched stolen or anything like that. And it can attack twice. So it doesn't have that much attack, it's only got 1300 attack, but if your opponent's got GOAT tokens, for example, or anything, just, you know, kill more than just one. Gora, Gora Turtle of Illusion, Yellow Luster Shield, Torpedo Fish, and Primal Seed, that's a good last card. Primal Seed Loop, you know, that's legendary in the game. Oh, what, is, what is in this? What is in this? Oh, it's a divider, that's what it is, gotcha. Okay, so it's a divider between like your main deck and your side deck or your main deck and your extra deck. That's cool though. Yeah, I have tons of these laying around, but I don't have anything, you know, that's uh, designed except for, um, I, I do, actually, it doesn't lie, because I do have some of these, but uh, a fan has sent them to me. Actually, no, oh, yeah, I do have these that Chris Bushka sent me. They're just like taped to the side. And that's cool, it's better than just having it, you know, just plain, <laughs> you know? Uh, like, like this is my box, I keep, uh, since it's uh, got fairies on the outside, I keep like counter fairy and just like random, just any fairy stuff in here, Herald, uh, counter fairy stuff, you know, like I said, just anything like that, I keep that in, uh, in this box, you know, anything that could potentially be good in those decks. Um, I guess this is gonna be used for uh, Karibos and Dark Magicians, actually, yeah, something like that. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, these two are the last things because once again, uh, those two boxes over there, those two starter decks are for giveaway. So uh, keep and sign. Uh, since we're just opening stuff, let's just truck through it and we'll sign the cards last, I suppose. Um, dude, I... For the Island of Misfit Binder. The Island of Misfit... Do I, the Island of Misfit Binder has actually been uh, uh, taken apart and now I have... Uh, what, Basically, I have a meme binder now, where's, where's all, like all my larvae, like I have the larvae moth binders, and then I have a Jerry Beans binder, which doubles, which the back of it doubles as like the Island of Misfit binder, and then I also have the big tub where I keep you guys' letters, um, and there's some cards in there, um, you know, signed cards and stuff like that in there. But there's not really an Island of Misfit binder anymore necessarily. It's kind of like divided because I ended up having to, I think it was one of my friends needed a binder and we were doing something here. And I ended up just taking that binder apart and like giving it to him or something. That sounds right because it was, it was the pink binder. Um, I can't remember what it was for, but yeah, um, it's, it, it's, not, it's not around anymore. But like I was saying, there is a meme binder, there is a Jerry Beans binder, so I'll get that out in a little bit and I'll put those, I'll put those in there, or, or in the uh, Larvae Moth binder, uh, binders, there's two of them. <laughs> but keep, thank you so much again, dude. I cannot, Petit Moth, yes! Yes! Speaking of the moths, dude, okay, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're on the same page, dude. Mind link, let's go. Yes, yes, the ducks. Okay, the ducks. Karate man, karate man. Duck. What else we got? More moths, dude, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, dude, dragon zombie? Dragon zombie, believe it or not, it's actually not too bad in 2002 format. Hey, that's gonna go in. See, this is actually not gonna go in the meme binder. This is gonna go in my OCG binder. Um, I actually brought this out, uh, broke that out in the last fan mail episode. I have, uh, that's, anyways, I'll get it out in a little bit. I keep my OCG stuff in, in, in a binder all on its own. Dude, Battle Ox, dude, this is good 2000, dude. 
Dude, this is first ad started at Kaiba 2000. Dude, what? This, this is awesome. The Spanish, the, dude, that's awesome. The Spanish and Portuguese, but this is this is so cool. That that's like almost max battle ox. Max security ba battle ox is actually OCG battle ox and super rare, which I have. Um, I need to finish maxing out my 2002 deck. Um, but yes, that, that's that's basically for as far as TCG goes, that, that's max. You know, what I mean, if you don't play with Japanese cards, then then, then just regular first ed. Um, Battle Ox is, is max rarity, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, some more meme cards. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Mods are always welcome. Mods are definitely always welcome. Thank you so much. Alright, so what's so meme that you want this, that you like specify this? Lightning Conger. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, that's a weird name. Lightning Conger. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll get those out in a minute. Actually, I'll get those out after this card. Yes, yes, okay. Now let's go get the larvae moth binders and the meme binders. Actually, this one's gonna go once again and then the OCG binder. So first up, OCG binder. Ta-da! You guys saw this last episode. So I put my Japanese, Korean, uh, etc. cards that you guys have sent me. Just, yeah, filled with, filled with, filled with cards with letters on them that I don't know how to read. <laughs> but um, then let's see, let's do the larvae moth binder last, so. Here is the Jerry Beans binder. It's tons and tons of beans, dude. I, and I still get some in the mail all the time. Matter of fact, got another one, right? Yeah, where to go, where to go? Did I put him? Oh, I put him in this pile, didn't I? Yeah, I did, there he is, okay. Another for the Jerry Beans army. And then back here, so in the very back, we'll start at the very, very, very back. Oh, so I don't have, where did I put, okay, so I guess like all the rest of the meme cards are in the um, bin then, are in the uh, the letter bin, or they or they got sorted in, you know, or they might have gotten sorted in on accident just like, because um, I sort, you know, between 2002 goats, you know, whatever, and they might have just gotten naturally sorted, but I do for a fact have a lot of meme cards that you guys have sent me. Um, in that in that big bin that I, like I was saying fun fact about Sonic Duck it is the highest attack vanilla level 3 monster in goat format 1700 seriously look it up um, the highest uh, level 4 vanilla monster in goat format I think had like 2000 this is a luster dragon 2000 attack nothing had over 2000 attack and then there's like Archfiend soldier instead of that 19 but now for these bad boys which one's the most full I think this one might be the most full yeah this one's is it full full? Yeah, it's full full. <laughs> so, the most powerful binders in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Larvae Moth Binders. You guys have seen these on the channel several times now. <laughs> and the collection keeps growing, dude. It keep, there's, there, I have like all my moth cards, all my cyber larvas. Oh, see? I had a lot of like meme cyber larvas and those got sorted in here. So, yeah, they, they ended up in the right spot. So the Island of Misfit Binder, yeah, it's no more, but they, they got sorted into uh, more appropriate locations because I haven't done fan mail every week like I used to in a long time. If you guys send me more and more stuff like like you have been lately, then yeah, th there's going to be more fan mail. But um, and also if I upload more, and then you guys will send me more than of course, of, of course, of course, of course. But yeah, you guys get it. Anyways, look at all this, just amazing. I still, I still just, I, I love this dude. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact that I have a monopoly on larvae moth. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Absolutely love my fans. You guys are the best. I love that you're in on the jokes. You don't take Yu-Gi-Oh too seriously. Man, I'm telling you, I've, I've ran into so many weird people, um, tubers even in the community. Just they, they don't know how to have fun like this. You know, they just they don't they don't get it. They just don't get it. You guys get it. And that's why you're the best fans in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for the extras. If you would have just sent me moths, I would have been happy. <laughs> Dude, and I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm literally taken back. Please sign. Will do, man. Will do. What in the world? A bunch of freaking crystal wings. Crystal wing synchro dragon. These cool tokens. I actually have a bunch of those tokens because you guys have sent them to me. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I have a bunch of really cool tokens that you guys have made too out of you know those tokens, like custom tokens. Just love it all, love it all. Love, to oh, ha, ha. Trishula. Trishula's such a legendary card in the game. Oh no, our buddy Needle Fiber. Oh, dude, don't we all miss him? Don't we all miss him? Oh, gosh. 
can't believe you sent me that many uh, crystal wings to sign. That is nutty. Oh my gosh, Omegas, more Trishulas. He wants to do. He wants all of the Synchro Monsters signed, and then more tokens. He wants all of his good Synchro Monsters, all the really good Synchro Monsters, anyways, <laughs> and tokens signed. That's fine by me, dude. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm, I'm giddy, dude. I'm giddy and I'm taken back and this is so cool. I'm gonna sign all these and send them his way. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out my mush mouth. What we're gonna do for the giveaway here is um, go ahead and reply to my post about this video on Twitter. Um, let me know what your preference is in the reply. Um, like if you want the link strike or if you want the mechanized madness and uh, you know reply with your favorite part of the video and, uh, and what you prefer and I will pick um, one person out of you know this pile and one person out of this pile you know it's randomly out of the replies and uh, we'll give these out um, and you can also message me if you want them uh, opened or unopened if you want them opened it would sh save me a little bit on shipping because I can just probably just use like a letter versus you know um, uh, you know, like as a tracking label or whatever. So, um, yeah, just let me know if you want these unopened. That's that's fine too. But yeah, um, he wants these given away, and I'm not gonna complain, dude. Uh, like this is this Thomas. This was awesome. This was this was so cool. Um, I'm gonna finish signing all these, and uh, I guess we're just gonna end the video like that. Thank you so much again. If you guys want to mail me the fan mail rules are down in the description once again you don't have to mail me stuff to keep um you can just mail me stuff to sign um you can mail me you can just mail me you can just mail me if you want to just be on the show you know just mail me um if you guys want to sh if you guys have any cool rare Yu-Gi-Oh items that uh, you want to show off um that you don't have a channel for or whatever and, and, and of course if you want those those rare Yu-Gi-Oh items back uh, message me or mail me with instructions and uh I'll make a video about it, and I will mail the stuff back. And I get questions sometimes like, well, what stops you from keeping everybody's stuff? First off, I don't care to. I'm not that person, first off. Second off, I have so much Yu-Gi-Oh shit, I don't need any more of it. I have so much Yu-Gi-Oh shit, I put cards on the wall. I don't need any more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'm good. <laughs> but seriously, though, I also just... Uh, I also just like being Yu-Gi-No-No. -No. I just like being Yu-Gi Jesus. That's all it is. I just like being the. Uh, I just like being a better influence on the community. Let's put it that way. And apparently Thomas does too, because Thomas is a G for not only this mail day, but uh, the past couple times he's mailed me. Because uh, at least one other time he's mailed me, and it, it was fire then too. So Thomas, thank you. I know, I know I've probably thanked you like a million times in this video. If I haven't, thank you, thanked you a million times. You deserve to be thanked a million times. And I'm gonna thank you again right now for the millionth and oneth time, millionth and first time. And I'm gonna finish signing your stuff. That's the video, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>